Good morning, Chad Johnson here, the Big Ski family. This week I had the opportunity to fly to Maui to uh, pop in on Kyla. I had business there and I, Kyla and Adam happened to be there with the Van Wingerden family, which was just so fun. Got a little business and pleasure mixed in, but got to surprise Kyla. Adam was a part of that. It was really a treat. Uh, this weekend we got to jump in the van and drive out of the soup of LA where this June gloom kind of is real. It's just like today, it's kind of cloudy, overcast, and drive up to Big Bear Lake, California. It was awesome. Got to be with a longtime friend, a buddy of mine that I met ski patrolling, both of us single, both of us 18, 19 years old. And now he's married, he has eight children, lives in Big Bear, and is building a gorgeous farmhouse with a barn on six acres in Big Bear, and doing a, so much of it himself with his family. They're working together three and a half years in a RV while they're doing this. This will have a roof, but these guys lived in this for how many years, Kim? Almost three in the motorhome at least. A year in the barn. A year in the barn and three years in this motorhome with how many people? Five down, so that's seven. Seven of them. And they had the worst winter ever. What she is standing on right now was covered in just ice. So she was like ice skating from her door. She is my hero. I love her. She's so go for it and do what you got to do. And I just admire people that buckle down and build a dream and work hard and Roger's all that and more. Anyways, he's a dear friend and to be with Tina and Kim, Kim's a dear friend of ours as well, gets along so great with Janice and their children are just kindred spirits and kids are riding quads and, and just having a ball up there. <laughs> them kind of put up some uh, shiplap kind of interior siding they're doing this real farm style look inside which is gonna be beautiful and they're getting very close to finishing but it was fun to spend four or five hours working with them and uh, and just fellowshipping and having a good time so that was rich the kids this week were such a blessing at ceramic I just love the way that they love our team at ceramic uh, sometimes there's a language barrier my kids are learning some Spanish some of our team are learning some English, but the communication happens through eyesight, through motions, through hearts connecting. And I see it across the entire company, what it's been as a benefit to my children to be in this environment, to meet the team in a better way, being so far away, sometimes we don't get that connection. It's just been rich. They've been working hard, getting a lot done. They're very productive. They've been having to tape their fingers because getting into the boxes and, and doing the work they're doing was kind of cutting them, cutting up their fingertips a little bit. But I love the durability this brings out in my children, that they know how to play. Yes, they know how to ski, they know how to do all that, but man, they need to know how to, to get a project, even if a dirty or a nonsense project, and feel the satisfaction of just busting it out. And they're doing that day by day. They get their schoolwork done, then they go work, and then we find times to go play. And it's just, it's so rich to be in that environment and to realize that the core of it, uh, God wants us to be blessed and blooming wherever we are. Our circumstances down here in LA are not ideal. We're kind of camping out in a weird situation. If you saw it, some of you might be deeply concerned. Um, I feel good about it. The children are on board with it. Janice is just an anchor and a pillar and, and charging it forward. We've been about six, eight weeks here almost in LA and are continuing that, but it's such a rich experience to, to, to sleep on a, a camp pad, a little bit of minimalism, and I love it actually. And it makes you appreciate the much and the more and the, and the abundance really that, that, that's there for us. So that, that's been fun. Last week was Father's Day, and I can't uh, tell you how much I love being a father. It's, there's something spectacularly beautiful about a husband and a wife bearing a child, seeing it come forth, and all of a sudden develop into this 
awesome, amazing, uniquely gifted and talented human being. And when they start to grow up and become who they were created to be, but then they start to speak words of love and affirmation and, and write cards and letters and the thoughtfulness and the, and the meaning behind it. This week, I've just, my heart was overflowing. You know, Baylor wrote this incredible poem. The, the kids wrote these cards that were just rich. I'm a words of affirmation guy, man. When someone sp shares how I've impacted them or that I that I've played a role in their life in some way and they share it in words, I just, I treasure those. I save them forever. And it was that kind of Father's Day for me. And yes, there were some donuts involved. Janice just whipped, you know, of course, I mean, after my spill on donuts, how could she not say something about, don't, you know, bring a few for Father's Day? What are we having this and morning? Today, we're celebrating my birthday and Father's Day, and donuts are the appropriate dessert choice. Perfect for the occasion. So we're split, splitting up a maple bar, which we talked about. We're doing the apple fritter. Today, we have some cinnamon sugar tortilla crisps. And to top it off, some donut holes. These are in honor of mama. She thinks anything that's round in the shape of a donut, like small in a ball, is the best of all. And, <laughs> you know, so this is really kind of fun. But it was rich. And it was an opportunity for me to reflect on my own father. And I, my father, Brunel Johnson, if you don't know him, man, I'm sorry, you don't know him. He is the most amazing guy on the planet. And I mean it. I was blessed to have the best father on the planet. And I'm sure many of you share that thought, but I know for a fact he was perfect for me in every way. And the love and the unconditional, cont continual, consistent pouring into my life to this day, calling me, how you doing, Chad? What's going on? He's been a mentor. He's been a leader. He's led by example. He more is taught than caught. And boy, more is caught than taught. And he is I, I've caught so much from him, the way I think, the way I act, the way I conduct myself in business, the way I think around relationships and wisdom and priorities. And I just find myself a little microcosm of, of who he is, a little mini me. And I say that, I hope I'm that. I, I aspire to be that. And so anyways, I say all that to say, um, fun to think on him. He loves his wife, my mama. He loves his children. Every one of us feel like the most special and dear and prioritized person in his life and always have he's always there and I could go on and on about my daddy but Brunel Dwight Johnson I love you and I thank you so much for being the most amazing father ever and Janice we had some time to reminisce about her daddy who's uh, passed away at the age of 84 amazing man a mentor to me just a gentle and quiet man but a, a legendary doer Someone who is a man of action, someone who is a man of vision, someone who is a man of faith, someone who is a man of real courage. Um, just, you know, an entrepreneur, a, I mean, so much about my father and, and Gene Johnson um, overlaps. But Gene is just a dear, dear man. He left an incredible legacy. He was a phenomenal father to Janice and uh, his 12 children. And I'm just so blessed to, to think that we get to honor him as well. So father rich we are that's it thank you so much for being a part of the big ski family and you know share with us any of your thoughts or questions that you would like to know or watch or see thanks for subscribing thanks for sharing have a phenomenal day love you all and uh, we'll see you next week Bye bye